dense regular connective tissue is one of the dense fibrous connective tissues. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is one of the most challenging ones to recognize, and that's mostly because it has so few features. It has fibers, in this case collagen fibers, made by cells called fibroblasts, similar to in the uh, uh, areolar tissue, and as we'll see later in the dense irregular connective tissue. But this is simply parallel collagen fibers interspersed with their fibroblast creators. So let's zoom in. Uh, this particular slide has cross-section and a longitudinal section of a tendon, and the longitudinal section tends to be a little more um, illustrative, a little easier uh, to recognize. So these fibers, and you can see them where they've started to pull apart a little bit. You can see all these fibers. You can see very faint nuclei of your fibroblasts running along here. <clears throat> One feature is, is really the lack of features, and there are very few blood vessels running through tendons and ligaments and through dense regular connective tissue in general. Uh, that's why injuries of tendons and ligaments are so difficult to, uh, to heal. They simply don't have the brand new building supplies coming in on a regular basis. They don't have a lot of oxygen, don't have a lot of amino acids and uh, carbohydrates to help them uh, build more protein and replace what's lost. Okay, so here's here's a nice weekly staining, dense regular connective tissue, little hint that there are some cells in there. What are we going to confuse this with? I think one thing that it might get confused with is smooth muscle. So let's take a quick look at smooth muscle tissue. And here you see much more prominent, this is smooth muscle coming from the small intestine. And here you see much more prominent nuclei, you see more cytoplasm and less of a fibrousy look. Uh, there are, this is a big blood vessel running right through it, so capillaries are much more prominent in this. Uh, the nuclei are plump and oval shaped and the cytoplasm is taking up a nice pink stain. But what else might you confuse this with? Well, possibly with skeletal muscle. So skeletal muscle has a similar look. And if we move out a little bit, oh, it's wavy if they didn't pull it tight before they took their section. Uh, but when we get up and they have the same nuclei, these look a little less plump. They're a little more scrunched. Uh, but one major feature, one important feature in skeletal muscle are the striations. So when we get in nice and close, we can see, um, darn it, here we go. Um, we can see these bands, this kind of light pattern, diffraction pattern running this way, crossways uh, through this tissue. And those are the striations. When you see those, you know that it has to be either cardiac muscle or skeletal muscle. So that will be one hint that will help you distinguish this from our friend, the dense regular connective tissue. Now there's one other stain for dense regular connective tissue and it might end up looking like this. This is a little less fibrousy looking, doesn't have that smooth cytoplasmic look that the smooth muscle had. It has no cross striations like the skeletal muscle. It's got these crunched, poor, sad nuclei of the fibroblasts that are being crushed by their own products. Ah, um, so dense, regular connective tissue makes up tendons and ligaments and basically doesn't have a lot of other features.